Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and here is an update on my stacked bin. Go in and look and see how they're doing. We fed over here last week. Oh, that's looking really worked over, but really dry. What the heck? Wow, that's really looks worked over. Huh. Pretty surprised about how worked over it is. Yeah, there's just a, a good mix of blue worms and red worms and euros in here, but that's too dry for how I generally run my bins. So I'm definitely going to do something about that. I mean, unless I'm completely nuts, don't answer that. Let's check the other side. I was reasonably sure that I fed on that side last time, but there certainly was enough worms. You saw them. Let me get a, get a girly thing here. Okay, well, maybe I didn't feed over there. I don't really smell anything over here. It actually seems to be kind of the same amount of worms on both sides. Look at that. Like a clutch of eggs there. There's like three of them all together. I have this, for some reason, the worms in here just really like to be on the bottom layer. Yeah, I'm not finding any food left except for a yield banana stem. Paper. Melon seed. Well, it's good thing I got a lot of food left over. I'm going to grab this level up and uh, we'll take a look at the underneath side. I'll be back in a second. Okay, layer number two. Uh, yeah, it took most of the worms out of here last time. Just seemed like a inordinate amount of them just always want to be on the... So yeah, they're pretty evenly distributed here. Pretty de the moisture down here is pretty decent. You can see the side is... That's pure castings right there. I know I don't have like feel-a-vision or smell-a-vision or, or whatever, but the texture is feels almost finished. I'm going to have to go back and look at the videos to see when I did this one last, but it wasn't that long ago. I'm only thinking this was like two months ago. There's a lot of worms in here for real, but I wouldn't have thought that they would have done this good of a job on this. I mean, obviously you can still see the paper boxes, cereal boxes, etc. Okay. That's for layer two. I'll bring you back in a second with layer three. Okay, here we are with layer three. Yeah, this used to be my, my drain layer, but I, I gave up on that. I can see where the, because they really do just stay distributed, even if, even when I didn't ever feed on this one, on this level, they still would hang out down here. Even though there wasn't any real food, it was just food juice. This layer does feel a little bit more, or less, 
decomposed. And feel that I can feel the texture of the coconut core leaves that business a little bit more on this level. And if you look really close, you can still see some of the coconut core fibers. I use the larger fibers for my trees, and then I put the smaller stuff in here. Yeah, I'm still not going to feed this level. I'm trying to see, I had wanted to get some other kinds of bugs to put under the microscope, but I'm just not, I thought I saw a mite a while ago, but I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. Not that I'm asking for random bugs in here, but you know, when you're trying to photograph things, it would be nice if they were where you wanted them to be so you could photograph them. All right, well, I'll bring you back when I get to the, get it reassembled for the feeding. Okay, so I'm gonna do a feeding across the whole thing today. I'm gonna put some leaves in there. And then I have a super wet feeding. And I'm gonna cover that up. And I'm gonna dig another trench down the middle. boys are home, apparently, or I've been invaded by a herd of elephants. Not sure there'd be a difference in how they eat, honestly. All right, so put some more of my leaf bedding in here. That's it for the stacked bin. I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up and call that good. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already subscribed. And thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good night.